Also new at five, we're hearing from the CEO of the Orlando International and Executive Airports. Travel around the country continues to drop. The airport's really having a tough time and they're having to adapt. News 6's Jerry Askin is live at Orlando International Airport tonight. Jerry, I'm fascinated to hear about this because he told you it could be years until this airport recovers. Well, Matt, yes, here at MCO, the CEO told me today air travel likely won't recover until 2025. He said our theme parks are closed and the state is pretty much shut down. So OIA here is pretty much seeing a major impact. And he's on that Orange County task force who will soon decide when and how we'll reopen. Air traffic to Orlando will take some time to build back up. Orlando International Airport CEO Phil Brown told me air traffic here at MCO has taken a major drop and it might be years before travel numbers are back to how they were pre-COVID-19. Our rolling 12 months for February was 51 million passengers. I think it'll be 2025 before we see those levels again. In fact, Wednesday, he said there were fewer than 2,000 departures from MCO, a 96% reduction compared to this time last year. A reminder, he says, of a major setback here almost 20 years ago. We observed after 9-11 is that air traffic took a while to, to come back, and people chose to drive more than they flew. So right now, as steps are being taken to keep travelers safe here at OIA, Brown is also part of the Orange County Task Force working a phase-by-phase -phase approach of reopening businesses, though there's still no set timeline for when that will happen. Look at the businesses in Central Florida and sort of slot the ones in that ought to be in the first phase of reopening, which is limited contact and then medium contact and then high contact. Yeah, and he said he agrees, of course, you know, safety first. And he's on that task force again. They'll meet once again next week. And meantime, here at MCO, they're working to rebuild operations here, thanks in part to a federal grant of more than $170 million going in part to uh, payroll operations, maintenance, debt services, and more. We're live here at OIA. I'm Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6.